Bee Movie, Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar. DreamWorks Animation has many animal films, but one that often goes ignored is the film about the most glamorous animal, sewer rats, flushed away. Despite its lack of popularity among the common public, you can still find people discussing it online, not only through sharing wistful childhood memories, but also through insightful review. While some reviewers online compared the film to other animated flicks, saying, Ratatouille for British people, others see Flushed Away as uniquely its own film for one main reason. I have a big crush on the hot rat. These are Flushed Away movie reviews. This is Kate Winslet's second most successful film involving a boat. The Kate Winslet narrowly escaping a watery doom cinematic universe. You would not believe your hat if 10 billion Sue were rats. I love Tom Holland's breakout role. Past me, Roddy. Present me, a college educated intellectual, Rita. Everyone, hey, could you maybe stop crushing on animated rats? Never ask a man his salary. Never ask a woman her age. Never ask a bisexual if they find Roddy hot. That Roddy is designed with better hair than what Hugh Jackman, his voice actor, has in real life is the biggest crime of all here. Once I realized the rat reminded me of Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkeys, it was all over. Life comes at you pretty fast when you realize that the majority of the boys you have feelings for look like a posh rat. I want to look like the boy rat. Tag yourself, I'm the cockroach reading Kafka behind the oven. Never connected more with a character than I do with Rita's younger brother, Liam the emo rat. So you're telling me that these rats can build a whole entire mini sewer London, but not invest in some birth control? I love how they make the American tourists wear an American flag print shirt and a t-shirt that says, I like steak. Gotta love them animating a toaster just to use it for one second to have a rat commit suicide. This is the film equivalent of one of those fucking Family Guy clips with gameplay at the bottom. There's so damn much going on on screen and I was never bored. Not gonna lie. I spent a good portion of the movie just daydreaming about living in that underground rat city. I just want to be a little rat who sails the sewer all day long. This is a cry for help! Love those singing slugs. The fact that two slugs attempt a high five and then get sad makes me think they were previously human. And that gets me down, man. The slugs should have had their own spin-off instead of the minions. Oh man, I just want to pop one of those fucking slugs in my mouth. Watch me snack on one of those little slugs. I want to do it so bad, like, ugh. I'm gonna squish a slug between my teeth like it's a tiny goddamn boba sphere. You guys feel me? Ha ah. ha. I used to have a plastic toy from McDonald's of the girl rat, and I used to put it in my mouth to calm down. I bit most of her hair off. That's why I wore me mittens. Huh? Hit men don't wear mittens! Take them off! Whitey is such a deep and complex character, used for human cosmetics left to the sewers once he was of no use anymore, body changed to beyond recognition, all alone. But he didn't give up. He worked on himself. Now he's got abs. Now he's got big jewels. Now he's learned to love himself. Flushed away really wanted us to find rats hot. Uh, why is the rat so hot? You're lying if you tell me you didn't want to smash Rat Kate Winslet as a kid. Flushed away turned me into a lesbian fucking furry. Fuck you, DreamWorks. 
Scrolling through Letterboxd posts for this movie and seeing an infinite number of people saying how much they want to fuck the two main characters is my villain origin story. Everyone on this site is all, Roddy this, Rita that, and like, sure, whatever. But La Frog. This is unironically the funniest movie ever made. Also, you know that tweet that's like, happily married to my 5'5 king, while y'all are getting ghosted by 6'2 alcoholics who can't read? Yeah, anyway, that's me with La Frog. As a British person, I'm chuffed to bits with this film in it. Watch it on Tuesdays and whatnot. Love the museum where we bless Her Majesty Queen and hate the French. Wish I spoke British so I could understand what they were saying. English people are rats, and French people are frogs. So true. When you go to French class, just so you can understand the French frog's jokes and flushed away. I find everyone's pain funny but my own. I'm French. <laughs> A case study in British class politics. I love Roddy, but he is a huge Tory. When Roddy keeps saying goodnight to Rita because he is finally getting a good night back from a real friend and it's not just his good echo night. in his room. Good night. Just a sewer rat trying to support the rat clan and a fancy pet rat who got flushed down the toilet. My favorite kind of rat romance. Rats kiss and hold hands. I think we can all agree this is potentially DreamWorks' most underrated project to date, right? Hugh Jackman did not sing his f***ing heart out several times in this film for it to flop. Thinking about the time my brother went through a phase of watching this film like four times in a row every day. Iconic film. I don't blame him. One of the grossest looking movies I've ever seen. An absolute fever dream. Roddy the Rat needs to be hung, drawn, and quartered. A key cultural artifact of the 2000s. I'm just waiting for the new Dead by Daylight chapter. Chapter 25, flushed away. New survivor, Roddy St. James. New survivor, Rita Winslet. New killer, the mastermind. New realm, the London sewer. Big thank you to my Patreon members, my little ruse. Kuski55, Fallen Vexen, Sam, Donka42, I Am a Noodle, John Huang, Fantastic Wreck, Laser Scorpio, Night Avenger, and Mintara. Thank you so much for your extra support on Patreon, it means the world to me. I hope you guys are doing well, I wish you the best, and I'm so grateful to have you as my patrons. The same goes to my YouTube channel members, my mini ruse, AD, Taylor Thompson, Foxstar Killer, Logan, and Debella. Thank you so much for your extra support. I'm so glad to have you be part of my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for all your support. And thank you to everyone else for watching and to the at least one person who requested Flushed Away reviews. Thank you for that. It might have been years ago at this point, but I finally did it. Let me know in the comments, do you like Flushed Away or does it rank low on your list of DreamWorks movies? And also, do you think the rats are hot? It's okay, we don't judge here on the Tonka Joey channel. But most importantly, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.